Hello and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to The Season's Legacy episode 3. It's rainy morning this morning, Fleur is just currently in her house. There is a storm approaching Henford on Bagley today, so Fleur is going to be having a cosy day indoors. But before she goes ahead and does that, she does need to come outside and feed the chicks. We just need to give them a bit more food, just make sure that they have enough food for today. They are still roaming around outside, so we want to make sure that they're well fed. But now we are just going to head straight back inside and Fleur is already doing that. We are going to keep out of the rain today, out of the storm. So I think today Fleur is just going to have a cosy day inside. I'm going to get her to actually just change into this outfit just so then she can get out of her boots as she isn't going to be going in the garden. And we are just going to do some indoor activities today like baking. We can do some arts and crafts. Fleur is also feeling flirty so I think she is actually gonna also schedule in a date today to go on tomorrow so we will get her to do that today too but first off I am gonna get her to actually do her work from home assignment she needs to research a plan which I just realized we can't do from the computer we have to do that outside <laughs> okay we'll do that tomorrow because we don't have work tomorrow so we will still be able to complete this task tomorrow instead let's go ahead and come out here to the kitchen and I'm gonna get Fleur to do some baking maybe make some meals we do have some food in here that we can use maybe we could make a honey cake that could be quite nice because we do have some honey in the fridge we should know the recipe for that by now we are level three cooking skill I've been looking and we don't know the recipe to the honey cake I thought that we did but we don't so we're gonna have to make something else instead we could make some vanilla cupcakes we just have to make some batter or maybe we could make some sugar cookies or some brownies we need a choco berry for that which we do have one ready to plant in the garden but we can't harvest it yet so maybe we could just make some cookies we need to make cookie dough so let me see how we make that we can make that we can make cookie dough so maybe we should make some sugar cookies We'll get Fleur to go ahead and head into the kitchen and prep that. We'll just do some rainy day activities today and baking is definitely on the list so let's get started with that and Fleur is struggling with the blender right now. <laughs> we also just got a notification pop up that it is the big spring clean tomorrow so we're definitely going to be celebrating that and having a day of cleaning, organising and spending some time in the garden. A lot Along with going on a date because that is something Fleur is going to plan today. Our cookie dough is done though so let's go ahead and grab that and we can start on the sugar cookies. Whilst Fleur does some cooking I want to go ahead and just have a look at the things that we need to complete for her just to give myself a bit of a refresh. And as I am looking at the list, it reminded me that we need to carry on completing her aspiration. So I think in this episode, I would really like her to complete the first part of this. So we need to socialise with a fox, rabbit or bird five times and we just need to do it once more. We also need to visit all the neighbourhoods and we have visited two out of three of them. So we're getting very close with that. So we will try and complete that today and also as well we need to gain the hungry for love lifestyle which I did forget about so I'm gonna kind of try and work on that a bit today as well she is gonna be going on a date tomorrow and I did have a look on how you gain that lifestyle because I wasn't quite sure how to get it but you have to just do a lot of romantic interactions with other sims so I'm gonna make sure when Fleur does go on dates she is gonna do a lot of romantic interactions so then we can go ahead and get that lifestyle because ideally I would really like her to get that before she meets her soulmate at a park so I'm gonna hope that we can get there eventually with it we just need to go on random dates with random sims that's the way Fleur rolls at the moment <laughs> 
Our cookies have finished though, we can definitely have one of them later on. I'll go ahead and put that in the fridge for now. I just paused the game and we have a call coming in from the guy that we went on a date with last episode and he's asking us if he thinks he should join a new career. I think Fleur is gonna say you should follow your heart. I don't really know why he called us about that but maybe he was calling us or texting us just checking in maybe seeing how we are i think flirt is just gonna be friendly but i don't think that she is going to go on another date with him they don't really have any compatibility they don't even have the compatibility symbol above their relationship so i'm gonna take that as a sign that they are not really gonna get along romantically but they did just message each other so we we'll have to see how that goes since Fleur is still inside I would actually like her to get to level 3 of the gardening skill so I am gonna go ahead and I think I'm gonna purchase a book we could research on the computer I think however I do feel like Fleur would most likely learn a lot from reading rather than looking online so we get volume one and I think this one should work and we'll go ahead and read this we might as well as get as much of our work tasks done as possible whilst we're still inside. I also want to check up on her other skills quickly. Obviously, they are quite low at the moment. But we do need to get our fishing skill up to level 10 and also our flower arranging skill, which we don't have yet. So we definitely need to get started on that very soon. I am actually considering getting Fleur to head outside. She can put on a raincoat and do some fishing maybe. I was gonna get her to have a rainy day indoors but we could head outside and do some fishing over there maybe. I'll get her to get her gardening skill up to level 3 at first before we head out but we've spent a lot of the day indoors doing homely activities so I think that counts as a cosy rainy day. Fleur has headed on out. I did get her to auto change into rain boots and a hat but she hasn't done that yet. I don't know if she's going to but she has a rain coat on so hopefully it should keep her dry. But we will do some fishing, we'll get our fishing skill up a bit. I just want to work on the skills as we go along the series, just so then we are not panicking at the end and we haven't got our skills to level 10. I'm going to speed through this just a bit and we will speed through to the evening before we grab some dinner. But we've now reached level 2 which is great. And then Fleur can get some sleep when she has finished everything she needs to do for the evening and then tomorrow we will head on a date in the afternoon I think. I'm gonna actually get her to do a fully blind date so I'm not gonna know who the sim is. <laughs> it could be anybody and we will just get them to head somewhere. Maybe we will head over to the area of Henford on Bagley that we haven't been already just so then we can take this off our aspiration. But that's gonna be quite interesting just going on a random date. I think that will be a lot of fun. I'll get Fleur to keep on fishing until she does get this bar up to level 3 and then we will head on back home. I'm also going to quickly just sell the fish that we caught to for some extra simoleons. We are so close to level 3. There we go, we have reached it. Let's go ahead, let's run on home. Luckily the rain is going to clear up tomorrow and it is actually going to be the big spring clean so we'll be able to spend some time outside in the garden garden tomorrow this garden really does need cleaning up there's a lot of bugs around our plants we need to plant our choco berry maybe we could also start doing some flower arranging tomorrow as well i'm gonna get Fleur to have a sugar cookie for dinner <laughs> not so much of a dinner but i would really like her to have one of these that she baked today so i'm gonna get her to go ahead and eat one of these it's also kind of like a late night snack because it is nearly 10 p.m now but after she has a finished eating this i'm gonna get her to head to sleep and we'll catch up with fleur again tomorrow in the morning
It is now the next day and Fleur has woken up this morning to grab some breakfast before heading outside. I've got her to change back into her gardening outfit this morning as we are going to be spending a bunch of time this morning in the garden. It is also the spring clean today so we are going to be celebrating that mostly cleaning. We can also do the laundry. I am actually going to get Fleur to start on the laundry now just so then we have finished it and it is all done so we will wash in a wash tub Fleur doesn't have a washing machine she doesn't have a bunch of electronics in her house she has a very basic tv she has a very small laptop but she just prefers washing her laundry out in the wash tub outside so she's gonna go ahead and do that this morning whilst the sun is coming up it's a sunny day today and not a rainy day today so that's quite nice and then of course we are going to need to come over here and look after our chicks who are very hungry. I hope that they are going to eat. They are starving and they're unhappy so we need to check up on these guys in a second. And we also have our bees who are enraged. Our garden is just a bit of a mess right now. Our plants are not looking great. Our animals are not too happy. We need to go ahead and get that in check in just a second. I also can't forget that we do need to research a plant today too so I'm gonna get Fleur to do that as well so then we can tick that off and hopefully we should get a promotion tomorrow. There we go we are all done with the laundry I'm gonna get Fleur to go ahead and hang it on the clothesline that way it can dry in the sun all day long. Then we really need to go ahead and check up on our chicks they are not happy. Let's give Daisy a pet and we'll also give her a hug as well. I don't know when they are gonna age up into chicken I'm really hoping soon. I do have aging on long so I don't know if that makes a difference to animal lifespan as well when it comes to the chicks. We also need to come and say hello to Bud who is over here too. We'll come and talk to him. We'll pet him too. Once again Sorrel's calling us. He has just messaged us, hey Fleur, I think Jade is pretty cute, should I ask her out? Do you know what, Fleur is going to say, yes, romance is in the air. And I think she's going to take that as a sign that he's also not interested in her, which I think she's quite happy about because she didn't want to be the first one to say it. Kind of a strange way for him to say it, but she's going to encourage him to go on a date and <laughs> I think that she is gonna probably call it a bit of a quits with <laughs> this guy just as i say that he is at our door we're coming to ask him about his day i guess we'll just be friendly and we will share the spring clean spirit <laughs> i really don't know why he's come to our door but i think that since he did send us a message about going on a date with someone else we're also just gonna ask him to be friends they seem to get along quite well as friends so we'll just talk to him a bit about that just make sure that we are along the right lines with him <laughs> so they're just gonna call it off and everything's good there that is definitely kind of awkward though that he did just arrive at our house <laughs> and there is actually a fox over here i'm gonna get Fleur to talk to this fox <laughs> just so then we can tick it off of our aspiration we can't click on the fox anymore and they're gone <laughs> we're just gonna have to be on the hunt for another fox i'll keep my eyes out i would really like to get Fleur to be able to do that today. Time is getting on though so we really need to hurry up. Let's spray our plants for bugs and then I am going to go ahead and just sell all of these today and then we also need to plant our choco berry too so then hopefully we can start harvesting this soon. We also have some flowers over here too. I'm going to go ahead and sell these today. I do usually keep them in the flower arranging table but we we have enough in there for now so I'm just gonna go ahead and sell them for some extra simoleons today. Fleur is just going around and selling everything and then in just a moment we are gonna have to head on our day. We're gonna plant the choco berry first and we will also water this as well. The garden is all clean now though. We can also evolve our strawberry bush which is quite cool. Let's go ahead and research this as we need to do it for our job. And then after Fleur has done this, we can go ahead and head on our date. 
I just got the notification that Daisy has now grown up into a hen. I was just talking about that earlier on wondering when that was going to happen. And here is Daisy. She is a little brown hen. She's going to be running around now in the garden. <laughs> we will now be able to get eggs from her which is great. It's going to really help us with our cooking. And there we go. We have finished with our work from home task so that's great. We are all done now. So I'm going to get Fleur to just come in the bathroom and I'm gonna get her to just brush her teeth, wash herself up a bit, clean herself up a bit, ready for her day. So we are going to go on to the meet and mingle dating app and we are gonna do a fully blind date. So I'm not gonna know who the sim is that we are gonna go on a date with. So we'll do a fully blind date and let's see who the sim is gonna be. We have been matched up with this sim here and I feel like this sim is the spellcaster. We'll soon see. I really like her hair colour so I do feel like these two are gonna get along because they both got really similar vibes. They both got really cool hair colours so I'm gonna get them to head over to old new Henford because we haven't been over there yet. So we will be able to take that off of Fleur's aspiration list and we will head to the rabbit cafe and bar. We can maybe just go and grab a drink or some food and we can just talk maybe we can head around the area a bit as well and go looking for some birds some foxes and things like that we have arrived and this is the sim right here tabitha so it looks like fleur is already heading inside to order a drink for here so i'm gonna let her just do that and we have come to this really cute calf i did download this calf off the gallery i will put the crater in the description of this video because this lot is so pretty i mean look at this tree there is a whole tree inside the calf <laughs> i'll let fleur grab her drink and then we will sit down and talk to Tabitha, get to know Tabitha a bit, see what they're like, what they are into, their traits and things like that. I'm also going to be on the hunt for fox rabbit or a bird and there is a rabbit over here so we can come and talk to that rabbit before we leave if it is still there. Looks like Fleur ordered a cappuccino, let's take a seat at a table, we'll just go ahead and come and sit at this one here. There we go, I've got them both to sit down, this sim is coming over. I'm going to tell them to just go away. <laughs> but let us go ahead and we will do a friendly introduction. Off to a good start because when these two did speak to each other, they had love hearts. I'm not sure what is going on right now. I just need them to come and sit down. Maybe let's try this table over here where it's a bit more quieter and they both don't have drinks. It's just glitching out otherwise. <laughs> let's quickly look at Tabitha's profile so they do have a good compatibility and they are actually attracted to each other which is really great different sims keep coming to sit at our table this is so annoying <laughs> please sit down together finally i think i've got them to sit down together i think i'm not sure please sit down fleur i want them to get to know each other there we go <laughs> finally and we will talk about the weather maybe we've learned that Tabitha is creative ask about relationship goals maybe we could ask a couple of questions like that just get to know each other a bit more I'm definitely gonna get Fleur to also do some flirting I'm gonna get her to compliment appearance Fleur is actually attracted to Tabitha which is good on her last date she wasn't attracted to the guy that she was seeing Coming to a calf was not a good idea because these two just keep walking around trying to get away. Instead, I think I am going to get them to just come outside. I think we just need to go far away from this calf because it just isn't working. So let's go ahead and come and just walk together and we will stand on this bridge over here because this just is not working out. There we go. That's a lot better. So let's go ahead and maybe they are just standing on the bridge looking out at the water and I'm going to get them to just keep talking i'm gonna get fleur to just keep on flirting and i would like them to just get their relationship up a bit more maybe we could discuss interests 
and we could ask about hobbies and skills too. They do seem to be flirting, but there doesn't seem to be... Just as I say that, I was about to say that there doesn't seem to be any romantic bar, but there we go. <laughs> They're both feeling quite flirty now. It's a suggestive conversation. We'll just keep talking some more. And we've learned that Tabitha likes video games, which I actually personally think would be a big turn off for Fleur because <laughs> she is really not one who is in technology. I don't think she would really be fond of sims who are into video games so so I think that is gonna kind of put her off Tabitha just a little bit but I think she is gonna keep on flirting with her. I think more than anything Fleur likes to date because it kind of gives her a bit of a thrill. She just enjoys flirting with sims and just having a good time. She finds dates really fun so I really think that is the main reason why she comes on them. I'm just gonna get her to keep flirting and do romantic interactions and then hopefully we'll be able to gain the hungry for love lifestyle if anyone does have any tips on how i can get there faster with that then i would love to know I'm going to get Fleur to go ahead and actually ask Tabitha to stargaze. I don't know what it's under. I think I just saw it under deep thoughts. So I'll get her to ask her if she wants to do that. Even though it's kind of cloudy tonight. But oh well, we can still do that. They are getting along quite well though, I feel like. I feel like there's parts that Fleur likes about Tabitha and is not too fond about Tabitha. I feel like she would quite like that Tabitha is creative. But not so much a bro and not so much that Tabitha likes video games but we'll have to see where it goes I quite like these two maybe they could go on another date but again I don't know if Fleur would really be into that type of stuff I feel like she just dates for fun would she go on dates multiple times with sims or does she kind of just do a one-off date with people just for the fun of it maybe we could get her to do a bit of both they have been stargazing for a while now though i'm gonna get them to get up and they probably should end this date soon as they have been out together for a long time i think first i am just gonna get them to get to know each other a bit more just so then we can know everything about tabitha maybe we could actually ask her now a couple of questions as she does know us quite well i've asked her about relationship goals maybe we could also ask about chemistry together and we have learned that Tabitha is a geek. Tabitha is looking for a serious relationship. I don't know if Fleur is looking for a serious relationship or not. Maybe with the right sim potentially and Tabitha has actually said I think I find you rather charming. Maybe we could be a match which is really sweet. So I feel like Tabitha is going to kind of express the fact that she likes Fleur and I feel like Fleur could get on board with that actually. I'm gonna let Tabitha leave now though. It looks like they really needed to use the bathroom and they probably said goodbye to one another. We also do need to head on home. Somehow Fleur is not tired at all. I don't know how that's possible. I am gonna get her to head home but one more thing I am gonna do is I would really like her to be able to find a bunny or a fox. It may be a bit late for that. I think that all asleep. We could get Fleur to try and lure the rabbits out. I don't know if they will come out. I feel a bit bad that we'll asleep but I really want to complete this aspiration. I don't think they're gonna come out. <laughs> I guess we could get Fleur to wait till morning. She isn't tired, so I don't really mind her doing that. But a bit of a rundown of the day. It didn't go terribly. I think it went better than our last date did. I think there are some things that Fleur really likes about Tabitha. But at the same time, I'm not too sure if she would like the fact that Tabitha is a bro and a geek. I don't really know if Fleur is into sims like that. And the fact that Tabitha likes video gaming. If she's looking for a serious relationship with someone, one, I don't really think she'd be into that but I do feel like Fleur is just kind of into dating for fun and she doesn't really want to get to know the sims as much on a personal level she's just kind of having a bit of fun in the dating world right now I've just come over here and the birds are actually awake so let's come over here and talk to them and this should tick our aspiration off this is probably going to be the final thing 
for the episode and then it will take us on to the second section of this aspiration there we go we have completed the first one for the second part of the aspiration we need to befriend a chicken cow or llama place one world rabbit home just as i was talking to you guys tabitha has come over to ask if we should live together can i move in with you <laughs> i don't really know what to say to this it is a bit strange that tabitha's asked this on the first day that we meet maybe they're asking flair if they can just stay with her temporarily that is very strange i think for now i'm gonna say i don't think that's a good idea i think flair is just gonna kind of say you know we've just met um kind of awkwardly decline and that's kind of sad they just got a sentiment because we didn't want tabitha to move in with us i am just gonna keep that like that for now but oh well that's kind of awkward <laughs> but as i was saying we also need to place a one wild rabbit home or flock of wild birds on our home lot and we need to fertilize three plants or oversized crops so that should be pretty easy so we will start working on that in the next episode it's 5 a.m in the morning though fleur has been out all night and somehow not very tired at all she is very hungry though so she is actually gonna order some food she just ordered a cannoli so she's gonna go ahead and sit and eat that and she come to sit down where Tabitha was but Tabitha's left now I feel like Tabitha is now holding a bit of a grudge towards us because we declined her her invite for her to come and live with us but it's a bit soon I feel it's a bit soon we have this sim here to talk to though and also this sim which is actually Andrew <laughs> so Andrew has come to the calf we can talk to him I guess we know Andrew we're good friends with Andrew we did meet him in the last episode I think they did some fishing together and became really close since they are quite close I do feel like Fleur is just gonna be like oh Andrew hi I think they're just gonna talk about what they're doing here Andrew maybe just came to grab some breakfast and I think Fleur is gonna sit and just tell Andrew about the date that she's just been on but that is where I am going to be wrapping up today's episode. I really hope that you did enjoy it. This episode was very interesting towards the end with the date with Tabitha. I quite like Tabitha. Maybe they could hit it off. I'm not too sure. It was a bit strange of Tabitha to ask at the end to move in with us. I'm not quite sure what to do with that information just yet. Should Tabitha move in with us or should we just leave it there? Let me know in the comments. But thank you so much for watching today's episode. I really hope that you did enjoy it. I hope that you have a great rest of your day and I will see you again very soon. Bye!